Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced a successful mediation to send medications into Gaza. The U.S. are in Doha for very serious hostage release discussions. And finally, Al Jazeera's heroic journalist Wael Al Dahdouh lands in Doha for treatment. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs have announced that a deal has been struck between Israel and Hamas in cooperation with France to allow medicine and other humanitarian aid to be delivered into Gaza. The medication will also go to Israeli captives held in the besieged strip. Two Qatari armed forces aircrafts will land in Egypt's Arish before transferring the much-needed aid into Gaza. On that note, the White House has announced that a very serious hostage deal is in the midst of being agreed in Doha. The US contingency says that they hope the discussions will bear fruit. However, Israeli sources have stated that if Hamas demand is to stop fighting, then there is nothing to talk about. Gaza has been under brutal and relentless Israeli bombardment for over 100 days. And finally, Al Jazeera's heroic journalist Wael Al Dahdouh has landed safely in Doha to be treated for his injuries. The senior Gaza correspondent was injured last month in Israeli shelling in Khan Yunis, which killed his cameraman and colleague Sam Abu Dhaqqa. Al Dahdouh also lost his wife, two sons, daughter, and grandson in Israeli attacks, which has seen over 24,000 Palestinians killed. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.